Hey guys, welcome to Melbourne Y. If you're looking to save some money on your accommodation while you're a student, a traveler, or even a local living in Melbourne, this video is definitely for you. I paid $350 a month, which is $85 a week that is inclusive of all the bills. And I can see a skyline right outside my window. So if you want to know this hack, just stay tuned because I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. So let's get started. The first question you need to ask yourself is where would you like to live and what kind of life you want? If you want a happening life, if you want bars, pubs, cafes around, then you should definitely live in the city or the first suburbs. But if you want a quiet life, a peaceful life, huge houses, beautiful houses, but a quiet life, then you should live in the outer suburbs. If you want to live in the city, which is CBD, which is obviously the heart of the city, or the first suburbs, you're definitely looking forward to pay at least $300 to $400 a week if you have a room by yourself. If you don't mind sharing a room, then definitely you would be paying at least $250 to $300 a week. And you can find these houses obviously in the CBD, but also in the first suburbs like North Melbourne, Kensington, Jollymont, Richmond, South Yarra, just to name a few. If you don't mind traveling, or you want a quiet and peaceful life, you should definitely look forward to live in the outer suburbs. Now, obviously you'll be paying much less because if you rent a room by yourself in the outer suburb, it will hardly cost $200 to $300 a week. But if you don't mind sharing, the cost will significantly go down to $120 to $150 a week. Now, that's when you can save a lot. Now, if you don't mind traveling or you want a quiet and peaceful life, you should definitely look forward to live in the outer suburbs. The houses are beautiful but there will be nothing happening after 9. You can find these houses in suburbs like Clayton, Dandenong, Reservoir, Sunshine, Tarnit, Werribee, just to name a few. Or if you want a beach nearby, bars and pubs all around and super happening life, St. Kilda, Prahan, Elwood and the surroundings are the place for you. But that comes with a price. You will definitely be paying $250 to $350 a week if you have a room all by yourself. If you don't mind sharing, still you'll be paying at least $175 to $225 a week. But you'll be living by the beach. So that brings us to the main question. How to find this accommodation? So there are two really good websites. One, gumtree.com.au and other, flatmates.com.au. The good part about this website is you can go visit the house. You don't have to provide pay slips or your bank record or anything like that. So if you're new in the country, these are the places to go to. But if you're in the country since a long time or you have pay slips and things like that, then you should go on realestate.com.au. The process is tedious compared to Gumtree and Flatmates but you'll definitely be able to find a beautiful house via realestate.com.au. Also. One important thing that you should keep in mind. If you're renting a property for the first time, you're looking forward to pay four bills. Electricity bills, gas bills, Wi-Fi, and water bill. Make sure you check whether your rent is inclusive of bills or exclusive of bills. Now the part that you have been waiting for. How did I find my accommodation for $350 a month, which is $85 a week, inclusive of all the bills, five minutes from the city? First of all, I share my house. So I obviously have a roommate. So I cut my bills there. Other is that I live just above a restaurant. There are a lot of people who have converted rooms above their businesses or restaurants into an accommodation or they've converted their garage into a room. So which is obviously very, very cheap and your name will not be on the lease, but who cares? You'll definitely be saving a lot of money on your accommodation. I'm not saying it's easy to find these things, but you have to keep an open eye. Don't settle for the first thing if that is very expensive or the thing that you don't want. Keep looking, talk to people, ask for help and you'll definitely find the accommodation. If you find the information in this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. If you have any questions, write it in the comment below and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Welcome to Melbourne Wild.